They don't mean it personal when they hang folks here. I have to remind myself. The town's had it in for me for a long time now. Only fellow who ever stuck up for me, well, he's number 18 up there. My headman on the farm. Used to be my captain during the war. His number 18 wasn't the dwarf woman 18? Oh wait, no, she wasn't. You just said that 18 or 17. Yeah, okay, never mind. Um, uh, the war? Saints war. Only one in my lifetime. Fellow decides he's the living incarnation of Euthus, or throws Retzerus marches on Deerwood, so we gave him a Deerwood and hello. What's uh, Deerwood and hello? We blew him up. Damn. He smiles at this, but this is the smile of one recounting a joke for effect rather than enjoyment. Uh, who is Euthus? God of, God of the Rebirth and Redemption, formally, anyhow. Maybe they call him something different where you're from. Okay. Uh, I got time. Uh, why was your headman uh, hanged? Got involved. Radric sent men down here the other day. Say they had it on good authority. Someone in town was working with Kolsk, plotting Radric's overthrow. Said if he didn't come forward right then and there, they'd hang every last one of us. No, no one was coming forward, so Swithin, that's my headman, he steps up and says it's him. They took him at his word. He signs and shakes his head, his eyes fixed on a tree. Bound to happen sooner or later, if not for plotting against Radric, then for protecting me. What does your town have against you? Pick the wrong god. That's what it comes down to. Used to be a lot of Vathus worshippers in Gilded Vale. That mess of rocks over there, that was a temple to him, to give you some idea. Ah, uh, yeah. Then one day, somebody named Widewind shows up on Deerwood's doorstep. Says he's the living flesh of Aethus. Got an army with him. Suddenly, Aethus isn't so popular in these parts. My brother Woden and me, neither of us believed it. No way was that Aethus. He enlisted, and then I did too. But, uh, he didn't make it back. No, sad Miss Bears. After the war, people took to punishing Aethus worshippers, accusing them of treason. Got real ugly, especially after the legacy started. Folks needed someone to blame. I was safe because I fought, but then this rumor starts that my brother, that he was on the wrong side. And I wasn't so safe anymore. Until my headman stepped in and said they'd have to hang him to get to me. Damn. Seems that's no longer a concern. Of course, the townies don't do the hanging these days, but when Radric's men come, they got no problem doing the pointing. Mm-hmm. Aleph glances at you and lowers his voice. You can see why I was eager to leave. Uh, if you're next to be hanged, what are you still doing here? He gives a half smile. Drinking, mostly. By the fact, I'm on my um, I'm on my way out. Just haven't figured where I'm going yet. Not a whole lot of places out there that don't think Wadewin's legacy started with Wadewin. Uh, we could travel together. Where are you headed? Some place called Cade Noir. There's an old watcher there who might be able to help me. I even remember hearing something about that years ago. He tamed that place. People would seek him out for all kinds of things. Troubles of the soul, questions for the departed. Of course, that was back when you didn't have to say watcher with a hush on your breath. Okay. A man such as that, there'd be things I'd want to ask him. Don't know why I never thought of it before. Then join me. I'm not sure how I feel about setting out with a stranger. And a strange one at that. But truth be told, you might be the only one in town who wouldn't feel some relief seeing me swing from that tree. Hmm. Uh, there's a fine reason if I ever ha heard one. All right then. Guess I'll do some sightseeing. As long as you're not the one picking the sights. D. Uh, who's Kolsk? 
Someone who got tired of all the hangings. He's on the run now. Probably will be till I catch him. Okay. Let's get going then. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Guess you're just a warrior like me. Stealth 1, Stealth 0. You're a better warrior than me. You're a second. Oh, wait. So all of us are second level. Oh, you're from the same uh, race. Well, I, no, never mind. That's, that's yeah, race. Uh, we're from different backgrounds. Farmer, explorer. Okay. Fair. What items do you have? Nothing. Saber. Saber tooth. And a bow. Pretty cool. Rapier. Yay. Um, 12 meters, 1524. 12 meters, yeah, uh, 0 0.75, 0 0.5. Okay. Uh, I could go here, check out this place. What was the thing? Tab. Oh, child. This temple used to be closed up. I used to climb down on the big stones. But I'm not gonna go there just yet because it seems kinda dangerous. I think I was just gonna explore the whole city right now. Like, uh. Yeah, just go to places. Blood moss. Okay, let's go to the blacksmith. I presume y'all. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Oh my. Some weapon types, types such as a stock may sense the little toe and negate a portion of the enemy's damage reduction. Thief ring. Commoner. Guard. Apprentice. I can take stuff from y'all. Daily affirmations of focus and efficiency. All errors can be reforged into lessons. All souls can be reforged, yeah. Okay. Uh Sure. How about you? Like I said in the previous episode, not gonna read any of these since uh, too much, too much for me. This Omawa man is of an impressive build, towering above the counter countertop. His skin is the dusky blue of the deeper oceans, and his thick arms boast carded muscle. Small ears frame a square jawed face, coated in smeared suit and arcing black tattoos alike. He offers you a broad smile as you approach. Welcome! You're the first new face I've seen in quite some time. What can I do for you? Is uh, this your shop? That it is. Been here near on 20 years now. Seen all manners of things over the years. Good luck and bad. Tuatanu glances as the guard standing watch along the wall. But the black hammer smithery remains. What do you have here? You come to us at a strange time, I'm afraid. The stock's not what it used to be, but we have fine weapons and armor to offer yet. All forged right here, the Black Hammer. Uh, what happened? We just don't have the supplies. Been expecting the next delivery for near on a week now, and haven't seen a sign of it. Have to expect they're hit by bandits. The road out east is crawling with them. Or my workers ran off with the wagon themselves, maybe to make some coin? Tuatu snorts, as if that lot were there. He's right about the bandits. The dire situations in villages like this and the exodus to the cities 
has created far too many opportunities for unscrupulous sorts. The town scratches his jaw thinking. If you happen to be headed that way, maybe you could keep an eye out for a supply wagon, or my shipment at least. We'll be cutting through the Black Meadow, I expect. Only good road for it. As it is, most of our weapons go to his grace, Lord Redrick. Tutano glances at the nearby guard, and that's as it should be, but it doesn't leave much for outsiders. We just don't have the iron. Uh, where was the wagon traveling from? We send a wagon up to New Helmar with weapons, and it swings around through Loghome and the like to purchase supplies. Shortest route back is through the Black Meadow and then north through the wilds, Tuatano shakes his head. Had a trader come through with word, they'd made it to Loghome, but haven't heard a thing twice. Uh, well, I guess I'll uh, see them back safe and sound. I'd appreciate your trying, anyhow. You bring back the supplies, at least, and I'll uh, have much more to offer you. A discount to start, and if you do find my workers, you give them a good smack upside down the head for me. But wait, we haven't Hail finished travel. talking. Good to see you again. I'm afraid we're still running low on goods, but you're welcome to look at what we have. Yeah, I'd like to see your wares. Of course, you won't find finer anywhere. Um, Dayum, expensive. Bronze horn. Oh, thanks, bro. Hmm. Okay, another quest. Oh, yeah, I remember we have to find a cook, right? We have to find a cook, then we'll have to investigate some bear or a cave with a bear. Where the, the guy died, I think, right? I think so. And then... And then I don't remember what else. Uh, I don't know what these are, I think it's just going out of town. Uh, Igret's house. Oh, what's this? Just villagers. Igret's house. Isn't that uh, where that couple is? I'm pretty sure that is it. Okay, wind, windmill. Let's go to windmill. Oh, we know there's more gain, grain in there, Tremble. We won't settle for scraps while you grow fat in our corrupts. A muffled shouting emerges from inside the mill. The first of you drunkards come through the door gets a shot between the eyes. Gods hear me, Savannah, I'll put you down like a dog. Come away for now, lads, but we'll be back, Tremble, and we'll have fair prices or by the flame. We'll have a reckoning. They're gone. What is happening? Oh, I can come in now. Resolve, fix concentration. Charisma. Level. Oh, nice. An elven man stands before you, his relatively stocky build suggesting a life of labor. His face is pale and drawn, and his eyes wide. Behind him, a younger man and a woman exchange worried glances. The miller raises a club as you enter, shakes wildly in his grip. Get back if you value your life. Put that down before you get yourself hurt. Uh, Thermbalon raises the club higher. I mean it, I won't have this Vayner and his slacky strutting me and my own mill. Uh, my name is Messiah, I'm only just arrived in Gilville. I thought you could use some help, those people. Uh, my name is Messiah, I only just arrived in Gilden Vale. Uh, Thrumble shakes his head. You picked a bad time to come visiting Gilden Vale. Had all the shines crept off. Just a big dung heap now, and Svener thinks he's the king of it. They all with all of them mad. Who was all that truckers outside? Who's Feyner? The dwarf. The one standing out there spreading lies among the villagers. Bastard's been here for decades and he hasn't gone in any kind of time. The miller hesitates then lowers the club a fraction. Who are you? Is Feyner roping foreigners into his little crusade now? Uh, what was all that truckers outside? What? Uh, Thrumble shakes his head. Where to begin? Sweeners whip them up into a froth. 
going on about grain stores claims I've hidden away most of it. All I do with the grain is sell it. I can't create it out of thin air and I can't hand it out for free. I pay the farmers for the crops they bring in and I sell what comes out of that mill. Most of it goes to the Black Hound on the west uh, side of town for ale and Svader and his slot sure don't mind that part. You take a look at the fields on the way into town, the crops bl blighted and most of what I'm ge getting from farmers. Thrumble gishes to sack and containers. It's gone off, rotten, rotted through. I can't pay top prices for blighted wheat, and I barely, barely got enough good grain to go around. Swainer's howling after things he has no right to. If you don't want those people in here with torches, maybe you ought to stop lying to me. Yeah. Tremble blinks taken back. I'm not. Look, it's no lie. The stores really are low, and with so little grain going around, I had to raise the prices for some people. Uh, there are folks in this town that deserve far better than Svainer and his lot. People who have done more for Gilded Vale. Uh, maybe you ought to go talk to Svainer. Svainer's people are farmers. We gather that grain for you. What do you mean? Svainer the rest. They uh, always been troublemakers, loud drink and fools. That woman with him, her soul traces back to Tri Triton, that wretched brigand, and it shows. We have good people in this town, people still are hanging on to what's left of it. They deserve a little more, that's all I'm saying. Uh, but Svainer's people are farmers, we are gathered to get that grain for you. They sure didn't mind losing that grain when it was going into the drinks at the inn. They don't make like kind neighbors when they insult my son, I was stumbling a drunk through my own crops. You think they're the only ones that need to eat? Now the crops are sick and the wind's too weak to get the mill windmill turning. Our village's children are born as uh, empty shells. That's not my doing. This place is cursed, and Svainer and the others haven't done a thing to help the rest of us through the learning lean season. If your self-righteousness worth losing your family or over? Uh, Trumbull opens his mouth to protest, but his expression shifts into resignation well before he finally nods and speaks. You're right, he says quietly. I've been trying to plan for the future, but we're in danger here and now. You earned a reputation. Reputation can be held with uh, stuff. Okay, Fine, tell Svainer and the others that they've got to consider. Provided he pays the same as everyone else, he's welcome to his fair share, Trumbull sides. And let's hope he can trade for supplies real soon, and or we'll have, we'll all be in a bad way. I hope uh, I made the right choice, convincing him instead of uh, the other guys. You you regret this, and so will Svainer in the town starving around him. Damn, I might. You got what you wanted. Leave us alone. We're going through the stores faster than I feared this won't last. Not good, not good at all. Oh man. Combat, disengagement attacks, active melee engagement, lots of engagements. Where can I find a dude? Uh, I guess at the end. Yeah, let's go to the inn and then we'll try going to like one of these just to see what's up, uh, whether it just leads me out of town or or whether or whether uh, it uh, whether this town is bigger than you know it seems. And you can actually go to some other farms and whatnot. I presume those guys are Tian. <clears throat> Please? Defensive, defensive, utility talents. Loading screens. Um. Vader, Sabro. Hello. 
don't know who you are and then don't much care. Keep walking, we're not here to chat with foreigners. Alf narrows his